What's up guys, Larry Chan here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. We are in Japan and we are at the Nissan Heritage Collection. My friends from Yokohama Tire and KW Suspension brought us out here to Japan to cover the car culture, cover Tokyo Auto Salon, and just gather as much content as possible for you guys. I'm excited for the tour today of the Heritage Collection. This is a place I've always wanted to come to. It's just one of those things, you know, the pictures just don't do it justice. I want to look at the cars, smell them, touch them, feel them. I want to really just kind of take in what this collection has to offer. I've seen so many pictures, but to see it for the first time in person, I'm, I don't think my body's ready. But uh, we're going to walk in right now and we're going to check it out. Wow. Okay, so 19... 54 Prince sedan. This was actually the former emperor's personal car and uh, the royal family actually donated it back to Nissan. That's why it's in this collection. How cool is that? Wow. You, how many kilometers are on this car? Uh, not so many. Not so, not many. so many. Not so many. <gasps> oh my God. 20 million yen? Okay. Sounds about right in this condition. How much is 20 million yen? 200,000 dollars. 200 grand? Wow, this is crazy. Look at this over fender from the factory. It's a factory rear fender. It's funny how they just put it on the rear. You know? no. but, but the thing is, it looks not, like it's not factory, but that's, I guess, where everyone got the inspiration from. It's so clean. Look at the headers. I've never seen a stock one like this or a clean one like this. 432, four valve, three carburetors, twin cam. That's what the 432 is. Wow. So one 432R just sold for $700,000. What do you think, guy? I have no crew. It's crazy. <laughs> 700,000? 700. Yeah, but this is really, wow, it's so mint. I've never seen one in person before. Did you pay for 700,000? No. <laughs> have, no? I, I have one and that I paid $3,000 for. <laughs> it's so cherry, it's so clean. I actually really like this color too. So the first uh, um, Sylvia is half handmade and that's kind of why you could see the fender and the bumper is all in one piece. It connects, there's no break in the body line. So they only made 550 of these because they were so expensive. Back in 1966, it was about 
thirteen thousand dollars or thirteen yeah thirteen thousand dollars which i can only imagine how much that was back then look at those over fenders it doesn't have a rb25 swap though <laughs> so what engine is this one this is also s20 1973 it's like brand new so cool <laughs> mr marion what the heck are you doing? Nothing, nothing. Oh, your personal S13. Oh. If there's a, uh, a Sylvia or S13 that I'm into, if I ever get a right-hand drive Sylvia, it would be this. Exact color, the two-tone, this is the one. Like, I love this so much. It looks so cool. The color is perfect. Um, it just has that iconic look. This is this is the part of the video everyone just wants to skip to. So we'll just yes. we'll let you know in the description what part the Sylvia, the yeah. Seafoam green one yeah, is. Yeah. This is what everyone the wants sea to foam. see. The Seafoam. The Seafoam. Oh my God. But, uh, can, can we do a bird after this? <laughs> oh, it's so clean. Yeah, I'd drive this every day if I could. Every day. Yeah, <laughs> I would love this thing. This is so cool. All right, here we got the Nissan Escargo, and as you guys know, Escargo means snail, right? So then they got like a cute little snail all around this car. So cool. Okay, this is it right here. The mid four. This, what do you think? This is the original NSX. Yeah. The Nissan NSX. <laughs> the Nissan. It looks like an NSX too. The mid four. So oh, so it's a. VG30 DETT. This is the same. So this actually came before and the Honda engineers came to study this car mm. and then came out with the NSX. So this actually has a 300ZX engine. Oh, VG30 DETT. That is so cool. It looks like an NSX though, the front. Or the NSX looks like this, I mean, because this came first. 1987, mid 42 they had to develop it before, right? 1986 or even earlier. Wow. Yeah, it's funny. This has a lot more room than the Z32. <laughs> Look at the wheels on this thing. Wow. I like the side. It almost looks like a Ferrari from this side, but it definitely has uh, the NSX looks like it's inspired from the design, especially the pop-up headlights, the cornering lamps. Just the overall shape of this thing, definitely the NSX looks like this because this came out way before the NSX was introduced in 1991. This is 1987. You guys thought you knew anything about cars. <laughs> you know what this was. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this uh, runs a 300ZX Z32 VG30 DETT engine and I mean, you could see a lot of little things like the steering wheel, the way the gauge cluster is, everything it kind of like inspired a lot of the later cars. Super Dino. Which is your favorite GTR? Um, I think that one, the R33 is my favorite right there, that one. Mm -hmm. That one. <laughs> All kidding aside, I've had uh, Nissan Maxima before, a 1994 five-speed manual VE30 DE, which is a uh, dual overhead cam, three liter, 190 horsepower, five-speed manual, came with a uh, LSD. It was like the four-door sports car. It was so cool. I thought it was hot shit in it, but it was, it was really fun. And then that is a very crazy R33. I'm not a big fan of the R33s, but looking at it here, like this must be some kind of special version. Oh, this is a 1997, the V-Spec, that's why. This is uh, 2002, so last year, this is the NUR edition. This is a V-Spec 2, Bayside Blue. We got basically a perfect copy of my car, but of course this is the best version of the R32, which is the Nismo version and this is uh one out of 500 and this one is brand new there is nothing wrong with this car it's absolutely perfect this is number 405 out of 500 
and uh, wow, this is so clean. Oh my God, oh my God, it's a Nissan Sunny. Right now you can lease the sporty T-top Nissan NX 1600 for only $179 a month and no down payment. Where else can you get this much fun for less than $6 a day? The NX lease only at your Nissan dealer, but only for a very short time. Oh man, I'm fanboying out so much right now. If anyone in America wants to get rid of their NX 2000, I'll buy it. B13, yes, so cool. So I've had a B14 Sentra. Love those cars so much. Oh, there's just too many cool cars here. 280Z, Z31. I really am in heaven. In <laughs> this is so bad. I could spend all day here. Uh, unfortunately, we get three hours to roam around. Let us know. Let us know in the comments below if you guys like collections like this. There's so many in existence that we haven't had a chance to tour yet all over the world. For me, getting this kind of exclusive access is so much fun and showing you guys like what they have here. Of course, we're trying to show you the weird and the wonderful here um, versus just uh, Nissan Skylines, even though I'll just stare at these Skylines all day and every day. These are so cool. It's so crazy to see the actual ones here. These are the actual 240Z Safari cars. Look at this. Is this what I need to build next or no, what? I need to build a Nissan 350Z drift car so we can go drifting. I think that <laughs> one's the best. <laughs> Larry, look at the headlight. They straight chicken wired it on. I like that. I like that too. It's my style. <laughs> this is so insane. So this is the winning 1973 240Z from the East African Safari Rally. The 1973 East African Safari Rally, the most grueling five-day rally over a 5,000 kilometer course. Only the fittest survive. This overall winner, and it's so crazy. The headlight is just like chicken wired um, to the front here because otherwise they would get penalized uh, for finishing without a headlight and it's so crazy like the dirt and the dust everything is untouched all the way from 1973 it's just the way it finished right here another glorious victory for Datsun three triple crowns in four years a really fine tribute to Datsun why not try one whoa yeah. Yeah, so what kind of engine is this then? There was a reason, just, just swap the head. Oh, this thing's got to yeah, sound so So it's a LY28 overhead cam. <laughs> Makes 300 horsepower. That is something else. This has got to be a blast to drive. Taking pictures of your own car here? I wish this was my car. <laughs> I have like something similar to this. Sheesh! But you know what? This doesn't have a Lambo door, so. No, it doesn't. But look at these meats on here, man. Oh my god. This that's the wheel I want. That's the wheel I want for my R32. Of course it's running Yokohama Advans. Oof. Look at this. Dude, look at the cage. I don't know, the cage is ridiculous in this thing. Look at all the crossbars uh, on the chassis itself. Oh. Whoa. No. Oh, nothing. still nothing. <laughs> nothing. It is a SR, but it Let's needs to be restored. Look, how, look at the tubbing. Yo, this looks like Forrest Wang's S14. Yo, this is so crazy because um, this is kind of the quintessential shot that you see anytime co someone comes to this collection, they usually post this row of just the iconic Nissan livery of race cars here. So it starts here. Uh, let's see, the row starts here in 1986 and it just boom, 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 powerhouse. You know, the crazy thing is 
Once a year, Nissan actually takes a lot of these race cars out to Fuji Speedway for the Nismo Festival. It's kind of all things Nissan, and it's just kind of a celebration of their heritage, celebration of these, a lot of these old race cars. And, but also they bring a lot of their newer cars too, to show off what they're capable of. I did have a chance to go one year all the way back in 2008. Of course, I'm sure so much has changed since then, but maybe that'll be my next trip to Japan. I'll kind of revisit the Nismo Festival and uh, I'll bring you guys along with us, of course, as always. The entire collection is on that side. And then they stuffed the 300ZX into this little corner, poor guy. I will always have a soft spot for this car though because it's just so beautiful and so groundbreaking. And I mean, it's so good looking that they actually use these headlights on the R390 as well as the Lamborghini Diablo. Fact. This is a 3.5 liter V12, naturally aspirated. Uh, 630 horsepower at 12,000 RPM, refs of 14,000. 14,000. 14,000. Fort <laughs> because, because race guy. 14,000 RPM. Sound is good. That's the understatement of the day. Yeah. Sound is good. Sound is good. <laughs> Here, hashtag. Yeah. How is that even possible? So, what's the chassis code on this one? B810. This is not a B14. This is not a B14. Or P10. P10. P10, P10. This is the P10. P11, actually. This one just oh, P11. Okay. P11. So the P10 was the Infinity in the US. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, G, G50 or something. Yeah, G20. G20. And, G20. G20. and um, the, I guess the Nissan, around the same time, they, we had the B14 SER, which I've had one before. Awesome cars. So SR20 revs super high, but this one is a naturally aspirated SR22 liter. And it changed change the direction. Okay. Even so it's coming in front. Oh. And in the rear. So it's flipped. And then this is two liter, 300 horsepower, naturally aspirated. Yes. Incredible. See, this is what I really like. Um, touring cars, limited aero, so much about driver, wheel to wheel racing. Like this is, this is so cool. Primera. Ah, uh, this is cool. This thing was handled like. Can you imagine with the weight so low? Yeah. We like, just steer. Yeah. So naturally. The front wheel drive it's cars, man. You, right, you, right. you can't. You just can't. Uh, you keep your foot down. You, you, you can't forward. discount this car. Oh, you know, this is the it's curb close. hopper right here. And that's what they used to do. They used to be on two wheels. Yeah. Like So cool. We'll close it off. Oh my God, look at these race cars. We'll close it off with the Tysan R32, the legend. This is so cool. I can't believe this is here. Oh, Mr. Keiichi Tsuchiya. I can't believe it. This is so cool. That's it right there. I don't know. I, I don't really know. It's hard to say which one's my favorite. I think it's uh, between this one and then the uh, blue Calsonic Group A. R32 GTR. <sighs> yeah, I think it's between those two. 
This is so cool. Thank you guys so much. I definitely wanted to thank Nissan for having me here. This has just been so epic. It's been such a like boyhood dream to come here and check out this collection. It's surreal, it really is. And thanks again to Yokohama Tire and KW Suspension for having us out here in Japan. This has been such a blast. We still have a couple days to go. We're still going to keep pushing hard for you guys. See you guys in the next video. That's a wrap.